when we talk about falling in which there is no actual falling we're really talking about being held in presence presence isn't something we need to practice it isn't something we need to find more of yeah we don't have to become more present it's not an activity from the personality self mm -hmm. the personality self wants to accumulate practices to make my life better to make my life happier to make my life easier to make my life more spiritual because then it'll be happier easier the attempt to become more present from the personality self is another acquisition for the self. The falling into presence is the falling away of the personality self. or rather the falling away of the mechanism that drives the personality self to accumulate more, to accumulate more knowledge, to accumulate more practices, to accumulate more skills, to accumulate more something that makes me feel better about myself. When that mechanism falls away, only then can we know the true meaning of presence. Presence reveals itself as the substance of beingness, the substance of who you really are, the substance of life. When concern for the movie that appears as your life stops being the primary attention. In other words, when the commentary, the narrative, the commentary about this shouldn't be happening, this should be happening, I shouldn't be feeling this. I shouldn't be feeling this restlessness. I shouldn't be feeling this fear. I shouldn't be feeling this shakiness. I shouldn't be feeling this vulnerability. When that comes to an end, the shouldn't shouldn't be like this. I shouldn't be like this. When that mechanism <clears throat> starts to crumble, and sometimes, very often, it feels as if you are crumbling, but it's not you. It's not you at your core. It's not the real you. It's not the truth of you that's crumbling. It's the mechanism that you have mistaken for yourself that crumbles.
When that starts to crumble, that's a really good sign. Welcome it. Don't say, this shouldn't be happening. I shouldn't be crumbling. It's the mechanism that you've mistaken for yourself that is crumbling. This is good, a good thing, a good sign. It's a sign that presence that was always here is beginning to reveal itself not as something far away in the distance that you want to have and accumulate and find and go searching for in many different directions, but as something that was always here. I would say right under your nose, but it's even closer than that. It's in you, as you. It's that from which you were born and that to which you will return and that which you never left. It's always here. That presence is the same as the awareness I speak of. Yeah, it's not to do with what happens with what you experience, with anything that comes and goes, it's always here. And in that, in that presence, there are no problems. You are not a problem to yourself. Life is not a problem to you. Aches and pains are not a problem. Shakiness, Feeling, emotion, waviness, all this is not a problem. It's only a problem when the mechanism of this shouldn't be happening, I shouldn't be feeling, experiencing this, then it's a problem. But without my, that mechanism, there is no problem. There is only the suchness, the thisness of this, of this, of this. Presence is the solution to all problems. And then the whole movie, the whole tapestry, the whole painting, all the brush strokes of life can move in you, move through you as your experience, your human experience. But none of it is wrong. None of it is rejected. None of it is the enemy. None of it is a problem. And then the true happiness that you seek is revealed as already here. It has nothing to do with what you achieve, what you gain, what you know what you have, what you succeed at. It has nothing to do with that. It's the innate goodness of this. In presence, a presence that has no commentary, no mechanism of acquisition, then the innate goodness of this aliveness, this very moment, this very fact of isness, of thisness, arises. 